Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. As a matter of fact, let me know how your day is in the comments. I'd like to read about it. You know, it is an amazing experience to spend every single day just working with these amazing animals like Perdita. I mean, who wouldn't love to have the opportunity to spend time with a beautiful girl like this? But I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You know, it's not always the best and most incredible experience when you're working with animals. Okay guys, so I'm in a little bit of a precarious position here, believe it or not, of all creatures, Pernita got me. Ah, come on girl, let go. Come on girl. It's okay baby. I'm not food. I'm not food baby. And yeah, she's got really big teeth. So she, it definitely is not fun. The good news is she's not really twerking around too much, but she doesn't want to let go. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, 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 come on, come on, let go. Hey Bruce, are you there? Yeah, do you have any mouthwash or anything over here yet? Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. All right, come down, come down. So we're just gonna put some mouthwash and hopefully usually the menthol kind of alcohol thing and mouthwash will make them release. You know, it was completely a food bite. I just reached in there, she thought I was food and she grabbed me like I was a rat. I mean, she is the tamest snake ever, but uh, I can tell you that she's got her teeth pretty good in there. So uh, just really gently, just a little bit of mouthwash, usually will let him go. And it doesn't hurt the snake at all. Right. There you go. Yep, yep. Go ahead. Just a little bit. Oh, she just decided to clamp down. Okay. Woo. All right. So uh, she's not happy about the mouthwash. And uh, there you go. First time I've ever been bitten by Perdita. It's okay, baby. I know you didn't mean it. You can see she is super docile. I mean, it was completely just a food bite. She didn't mean it at all. So that's okay, baby girl. You're all right, baby. You can see, I mean, literally, you can't pet something's mouth right after it bites you if it's mean, right? It was just a food bite. Uh, and yeah, she did get me a little bit. Two hours later. And there's no doubt to a person here at BHB and the Reptarium, our crew loves their time with the animals. As a matter of fact, I always tell people that really what makes things go here is the crew. The fact that they're as passionate as I am about these animals and as passionate about having people that come into the Reptarium have the most incredible experiences possible. And by the way, just as a little side note, Nova here is doing amazing. The eggs are in the incubator and doing great. And the girl is swelling up, so I think we're gonna get a second clutch. But you know, a lot of people always ask me like, I want to work at the Reptarium, I want to work at BHB, and don't get me wrong, it is a dream come true to work every single day with these animals. And again, like I said, the crew feels the same way. But the truth is, is that it's not always just playing with animals. I mean, people think that we come in and just play with animals all day. It's really all the mundane stuff that is really important to keep this place up the way it is. But even though there is a lot of work, and quite frankly, a lot of it isn't all that fun, especially when you're just cleaning up really nasty poops and all that type of stuff. The truth is, is that it is so worth it because the end result is the fact that every morning we get to wake up and spend our life around these truly breathtaking animals. We're gonna take a look at this Kluber clutch right here. This is actually a head strawberry diffused corn that's bred to this absolutely gorgeous coral ghost corn right here. Look at that monkey right there. That thing is incredible. Incredible. Let's see what she end up laying. This is a second clutch and ooh, doggy, that's a nice second clutch. Looks like fertility is absolutely wonderful. We'll go ahead and set this over here. It does look like we got a couple little sluggers in there, but overwhelmingly incredible. And you know, I wanted to tell you guys something. You know, a lot of times you guys may not notice, but I change shirts a lot in the vlog and I'm always kind of like surprised that you guys don't mention more of it. So today I'm gonna make you guys pay attention. I'm gonna wear a bunch of different shirts throughout this vlog and for those of you that get the number right in the comments I'm gonna pick like 10 people and send them some stickers if that's okay with you so let's go get back to this colubrid clutch right here we're gonna take away these two little sluggers right here this one right here and one down at the bottom right here is definitely a slugger too let's see if we can get this off let's see all right, there we go. And it looks like we have two, four, six, eight good eggs and a couple slugs. That's absolutely incredible. Someone coming? Someone coming? 
I am super excited about this clutch of eggs right now. I think it's the most exciting clutch that we've cut so far this year. Not that the other clutches weren't awesome, but this is actually a pinstripe female spread to a pastel vanilla bamboo woma pinstripe. I mean, there is a lot of jeans in there and that bamboo jeans, awesome. And I love the way it mixes with the pinstripe. So let's just go ahead, jump in and hope for great odds here, guys. Man, I wanna produce some bamboo stuff because I love it. And with that vanilla and bamboo together, hoo hoo doggy, that stuff is crazy. Let's go see what we got first. Egg. Okay, looks like we just have a vanilla pinstripe. And I can tell it's a vanilla because it almost looks like a fire pinstripe. So the fire and vanilla are very similar, but of course the super fires are the black eyed leucistics, whereas the super vanillas are really faded, kind of cool head pattern type of thing. Didn't get the bamboo in this one, but let's go ahead and keep on going. Egg number two right here. Let's see if we got something awesome. Come on, please. Okay, oh my gosh, this is just this is just a normal pinstripe, guys. Uh, no other jeans in this one. With all those jeans, I mean, was there like five jeans uh, to produce a normal pinstripe? Uh, okay, oh my gosh, I talk, now I start getting nervous. I, just to let you in my head, like when I cut a couple eggs and don't hit something, I always start wondering, like, am I gonna hit any odds or anything? Let's move on to clutch number three. All right, let's go. All right, come on, guys. Please give me a bamboo just to make me feel better about myself here. Once I get one bamboo, I know that there's potential for a lot more. Until I get that first one, I always doubt, like, what if that wasn't the father or something else happened? So let's see what we got here. Oh, up, 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 up. Yep, looks like we got a bamboo, guys. All right, and this is a smoker. Woo! Man, that thing is crazy. That looks like maybe all the jeans. It looks like it's a pastel. Looks like it's a pinstripe. It looks like it's a woma. Looks like it's a bamboo. It's definitely a vanilla. So that might be all the jeans combined into one. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait till this hatches out because that's beautiful. Woo! -hoo. All right, I'm feeling better now. I told you, once you get that bamboo out of the way, now I know there's gonna potentially be more bamboos in this clutch. That animal is gonna be ridiculous. All right, we're gonna move on to this one and hope for some more ridiculous babies in this clutch. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, weird, 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 okay. This looks like it's probably either a lemon blast, which is a pastel pinstripe, or it could potentially be a vanilla too. So a lemon blast vanilla, hard to say. It's not super, super light, so it might not be a vanilla. Uh, no bamboo that time. Come on, we got this middle egg here, way stuck down in the middle, so it's kind of hard to cut these eggs to see what's going on here. Oh my gosh, This I'm telling you what guys, I'm getting crushed on the odds with this one. This looks like just a pastel, possibly a pastel vanilla. So uh, one egg was absolutely gorgeous. The other one's uh, not so good. We got three eggs left. So come on odds gods, let's get going here. All right, here we go. What do we got? Oh my gosh. All right guys. All right guys, uh, uh, I'm starting to get a little freaked out here. This is just a normal pinstripe ball python. <sighs> You know what, you gotta take the ups and downs, right? Some clutches you destroy it. We had some great odds earlier in the year. Now we kinda got destroyed on a couple eggs, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the last of the two eggs. Come on, please, let it be something crazy. Here we go, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Okay, all right, yeah, that's not bad, that's not bad. We definitely have a bamboo in here. And uh, looks like probably a bamboo, you know, it might be everything minus the pastel. So it might be bamboo, pinstripe, vanilla, and woma ball python. So I think I'm only not hitting the pastel. So that's not bad. So that's good. We've got two really incredible ripper animals in here. Last egg, and you guys know I always want the last egg to be special. So let's see what we got here. Come on, please, just let's get something ridiculous. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, a normal pinstripe. Maybe a vanilla pinstripe at best. So, uh, you know, I'll be honest with you guys. I, I definitely can't sit here and tell you that I'm overly happy with the odds on this clutch. We got two really amazing animals and we got a kind of a bunch of other offspring that wasn't really that spectacular. On average with that bamboo gene, about half the egg should be bamboo. And then all the other stuff is about half is too. So there should be combinations thereof. We only got two out of eight. So that definitely is way less than the odds there. And then it looks like we got lots. As a matter of fact, I think every egg except for one was a pinstripe. So we way overdid it on the pinstripe side. So anyways, regards, I'm not gonna commiserate with you guys. I'm still happy for what I got. So I'm sure none of you are gonna be sad for me that I got a couple amazing bamboos and a bunch of other cool babies. Cause that's all that really matters. I love hatching everything. And uh, 
I'm putting my razor blade down for the day. Eric, you uh, you doing yoga yeah. or what? You know, I it might mess up my uh, uh, workout plan. My training regimen? So. Yeah. Okay. Right, cool. I don't know if I could bend like that. You know, you got to put your foot over your head or something. Is that how you do I yoga? can't do is it. That how it is it's that something. Yoga? You got to chi, something with chi. Uh, I couldn't okay. tell you. All right, There's so. no cheese in yoga. Oh, then I, I can't do it. Che oh, I can't do cheese? it. Yeah, the cheese. Oh, yeah, yeah, cheese. The cheese, okay. Right, something. Okay, good. We'll All see, right. bud. Right, Jesus, it's right in my face. Next month, we're doing the yoga with reptiles, and today, we're gonna go ahead and have a practice day. We just wrapped up this session, and I tell you what, people are gonna love this. And like I mentioned the other day, I'm gonna continue to show you the snakes that we actually cut a few days ago once they actually crawl out, and then we'll try to even do a little update after they shed, because of course, when they come out of the egg, we can see what they actually are, and then when they shed, they really become more beautiful. This was actually a pastel to a pastel scaleless head clutch. This first one here is a really beautiful super pastel, but you can see on the top of its head, there's no missing scales, no jumbled scales, anything like that, so this animal is just a normal super pastel right here. So we missed on that one. And then we've got a couple of normal pastels here. This one's really beautiful, really light head. And you can see right at the tip of its thing, you can see some missing scales. So this one here is a pastel scaleless head. Then we hit a normal right here. This one has a really cool amount of missing scales on its head. Looks really cool. Sometimes they'll just have a handful of missing scales or jumbled scales. And then other times almost the entire head will be scaleless. So this is a mid range one, wouldn't call it a high end one, but still a pretty cool one. And then lastly, we hatched another pastel right here. And this one too has some missing scales on its head. So definitely a pastel scaleless head. So in the end, we hit one super pastel that was normal. We hit two pastels that were scaleless head. And then we hit one normal that's a scaleless head. And of course these guys, when you breed them together, you can get purely scaleless animals or all scaleless animals. So uh, pretty cool, not bad. Again, just wanted to continue to update you on what's hatching out of the incubator. I just wanted to show you one Kluber clutch that's hatching today because Ooh, doggy, I am so excited about this. Look at these animals right here. Of course, these are some scaleless corns right here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then, of course, we have some annuary. Unbelievable. I'm going to just dip it in water so I can get some of that vermiculite off. And you guys can see there are some stunners here. And uh oh, I think I'm in trouble already. I tell you, what, give me one second. I'm going to get a bucket so I don't lose a bunch of animals here. With this many babies, there's no way that I'm not gonna have babies all over the place, but look at this annuary scale is gorgeous. Woohoo! I love it. That's my favorite. I'm just gonna put these right in the bucket here and then we'll go ahead and set these guys up. Not even try to get them back in. But look at this one right here. Again, I'm just gonna dip him in the water to get some of that vermiculite off. But look at that one right there. Oh my God. Not only is it an annuary scaleless, but look at the pattern on that one. Oh my gosh. And like I mentioned, I love annuary scales and we have a whole bunch of them in here and there's some scaleless as well wow what a clutch look at these guys where are you going buddy where are you going okay up 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 now we got snakes all over the place but just take a look at these things wow Man, you, this is definitely, I think, the coolest Kaluber clutch that we've had so far. And this little monkey's trying to get away. Come on over here. Another annuary scaleless corn. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, guys, I am so excited about this one. I'm going to set these guys in here and we could take a look and see what happens. Oh, this one's trying to get away. These guys are going to be all over the place soon. Look at these scaleless corns right here, too. Wow. These are some beauties. I'm going to dip this one just to get some of that bedding off of it again. Just take a look at that. Wow, I can't, I am blown away by this clutch. Like I said, uh, absolutely the best clutch so far. So just wanted to share that with you guys. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and get these guys set up, but I am over the moon happy about this clutch. And there it is, guys, the end of the vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and have an absolutely wonderful day. As I always say, I love your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone today, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>